Good morning everyone. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I like can't keep my eyes open. It is 7.42. This is the time I wake up. It's just not been my week at all. Like I've had a period and I think I've had like a weird cold coming on. So I felt like shit. I thought I would do a fun daily vlog. Really in depth of my days. Because I feel like I do like weekly work, but I like miss things out. Sorry, I'm taking my hands out. It's horrible. I like miss things out, so I'm going to do a really, really in-depth one. So first things first, I'm going to go to my workout class. It's upper body today. Um, so as I have not been feeling great, like it's not that strenuous. I don't think I would have gone if it was like lower body. Because it's upper body, like it'll be fine. So I'm going to go today. And then I've got uni, but I need to rush. So let me sort my shit out because if I don't rush, I'll be late. Okay, this is what I'm going to wear. Literally all black because I just feel so bloated. Adenola top. And these are Gymshark leggings. These are chintzies from ages ago. I look like absolute shit because the mornings are always a rush. But it's what I'm wearing. I've got Adenola t-shirt on, Gymshark leggings, Nike Air Force, and then just a bomber and a hoodie because I like to walk. Uh, to get a protein shake and it's fucking freezing usually so do you want to wrap up? I've done it! I look like a fucking mess but I'm walking to get my protein shake and it's such a lovely day let me show you Hang on, like, oh you can't even see this guy <laughs> it's such a pretty day oh my god it's such a pretty day i've got my protein shake i am walking i only discovered this route like literally i'm gonna lie like on the weekend but it's so pretty and don't fact check me on this but i think this is where they filmed a bit of Peaky, Peaky Blinders in the summer. I think, that's what I remember, like last year. But it's so pretty. Oh, there's a goose. Oh my God, geese are the scariest creatures on earth. I am back and I'm showered. And now I'm just gonna put on my little makeup. It's about 10 to 10 and I've got a seminar at 11. So if I leave, well, how long have I got? Just under like 45 minutes. Let me scan you up. Mads is here, aren't you? She dipped out this morning. I <laughs> Don't be silly. Back on it. Yeah. Let's do it next. Basically, I've just been feeling really ill and really shit from like last Friday to, to about yesterday. Today I feel much better. I don't know. I must just be coming out of it. I think it was a mixture of like period and like coldy symptoms. So like I haven't been like working out this week. Um. So yeah, I, I went this morning and it was really good. It was upper body day. And I really enjoyed it, but I can just feel myself like I was so much weaker than I usually am. But I think it was because obviously I haven't eaten, I haven't been like eating enough because I haven't had my appetite and I haven't worked out in ages. So it was like a, it was a very challenging session because I was like, oh, I was annoyed that I like got weaker. So I just tried to stay like on the lighter weights. So I didn't like push myself too hard because I still feel a bit fragile. Um, but yeah, it was really good. Had my protein shake. Ugh. And there was a little dog, Maddie. It, 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 at Barry's. It was so oh, cute. It was a little French bulldog. Oh, I've just put foundation on. I don't want. I, 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 I just want to put like concealer <laughs> on. Go for it now. Oh, that's really annoying. Don't make it white. Because I don't want to. My hair washed down there. Because I don't want to do like a full face because it makes me feel gross. I was thinking that. Ugh, it's just habit though. Hello. Hello, hello. I've got some um, pads here. So basically I work out and then I walk um, to Barry's. Barry's is like a boot camp. It's like another workout class. But they have like a pro they have like a protein shake bar. 
um, and like a really nice menu. So we always walk there and get a protein shake after our workout. And I always come in and like everyone's like working out in the class. And they're like, oh, you're here for the next class. And I'm like, oh no, like can I just have a protein shake? And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah it's fine. Um, and every time I go in, they're always like, are you going to do a class yet? Like, are you going to do one? And I'm like, oh, maybe, maybe. They know us now, don't they? Yeah, so I'm not sure if we're going to do a Barry's. Looks a bit scary, but they keep saying it's not scary, but I don't know. It's a lot of running. But there's a little dog there this morning. It was so cute. I get a Snickers. It's not actually on the menu. Hashtag yeah. off menu item. Um, I don't know what. It doesn't have peanut butter. No, it has peanut butter. It, has it doesn't have banana. banana in it. I think it's like cacao protein powder. It's the pe 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 yeah, pe peanut yeah. butter and avocado and I don't know, but it's, it's really nice. nice. It's really, really nice. Hello, 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 hello. Yeah, two back-to-back -back seminars today. Oh, I didn't want to go to my um, first one today because it's about yeah. political history. And I hate political like, history. I'm doing that literally right now. Honestly, I'm not a fan of political history. Like, I don't understand it. It's like the Labour Party in like, the 1950s and like why they won and like... Oh, and they're like policies that like, I really don't get it. Political history like frazzles my brain. But I'm gonna go. I've done the readings. I've tried to understand them like the best I can. Um, but I love my seminar leader for this seminar. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go just because I love him. And he's really helpful. So if I don't understand it, like he will help me if that makes sense. So and then the second one is on the origins of the of World War Two and the Holocaust. So. Um, I find that topic super interesting and the lectures were really good so um, I'm excited for that and I've got a friend to be fair I have friends in both my seminars but I have a really good friend in my second seminar so I don't want to let her down I don't know what I'm going to wear today but it's blue skies so nice so yeah that's my plan and then I think I'm going to come back um and do some packing because i'm going home for the weekend i packed last night i'm so, We've got, oh, I'm so jealous <laughs> i don't need much though because every time oh, i go home i this. always take so much shit and then i never wear it literally no. never wear it so i just need to pack lighter because i have loads of stuff at that's home. what i did like, i took loads of stuff home because that's like random clothes i won't literally. wear literally take up space because our wardrobe space is Oh, it's minimal. Mm, yeah. Like, I have a massive pan on my floor that of things that I just can't fit anywhere. I really like Jumbo Home, though, to wear. Nice. The nice one. The new one. Ugh. So, yeah, and then I'll go home after my seminars. Mads has got... What have you got tonight? I've got a fight night. <laughs> Megan <laughs> is fighting. Boxing. And she's going to win, hopefully. So that's in She's definitely gonna win. I'm so like I kind of wish I was going, but I don't. I don't want to go because I, I don't know. like fighting and boxing. It makes me no. I'm gonna squirm. be crying. I'm gonna be crying. Like I really don't. I'll like just it. send you lots of videos, and like, I wish you were coming, but I don't know how boys I enjoy cry. that. Like no. I don't get it. I can't watch the boys fighting because I'm very. But especially like because it's your friend. Like no, that's oh my god. I can't think about it because it's just making me I'm like. I can do it. Like imagine if you were in a boxing match. I wouldn't even. I couldn't even go. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm like, sorry. <laughs> just tell me what happens in the end. Or like, I should be standing there with my I'm eyes closed so the whole time. Nervous. I don't want to psych her out there because everybody's like talking about nerve, like, you know, nerves. And she's like, no one talk about it. I'm like, I'm so sorry. Also, guys, I got one of these, the Charlotte Tilbury contour sticks. It finally came in stock um, on the Charlotte Tilbury website. And like, I think I got fair medium because that was the only one left. And I'm, it's like, oh it's my not my God. favorite. Like, it's... It's not amazing. Like I think I definitely prefer it look Chanel like, yeah, Tante Soleil. Yeah. I don't know if I'm applying it wrong. So obviously I'm not a beauty guru, or like yeah. I just think, or maybe I need the darker shade. Like I don't really know, but I've not been loving it. Like I think I'd rather. I don't think I'd rebuy it. I think I'd rather buy like a yeah Chanel Tante Soleil than one of these again. But you know, you gotta try new things in life. You gotta try new things in life. But yeah, I feel so much better today. Oh my god, guys. I don't know. Right, okay. I don't know if I feel better because basically I was on TikTok the other night um, and I was reading something about period pants and I don't know what they are. I think they're special pants that you wear like on your period and they like soak up like the blood, TMI, but like 
wall girls here wore some i don't know we're all like we know we have parents <laughs> it was something about always the brand and they have like they have a lawsuit because they have a harmful ingredient in their tampons and pads like chlorophyll don't hold me to that but that's what i read and everyone was like you need to start buying organic tampons and pads like yeah. i've been wearing them for a whole year my periods are so much lighter they're so painless like my periods, like I could barely feel them because I've been wearing organic tampons. So I'm like, oh my God. So I literally went on Amazon, ordered like, just typed in like organic tampons, ordered the first batch. And I'm not gonna lie, I got them yesterday. And ever since I've been wearing this organic tampon, like I've not had any period pains. Now, I don't know if that's psycholo psychologically, psychological, how do you say that word? I don't know if that's psychological, or like that's legit like i don't know but i was kind of tripped out by it but um basically moral of the story is if you have really heavy periods uh, i would buy organic tampons like i don't know if always is in a lawsuit because you know you don't trust everything that you see on tiktok i don't know if that's accurate and i like don't hold me to that um but that's just what i read i tried to google it but like nothing really came up so i don't actually know if it is accurate but i'm just letting you know what i read because that's on tiktok um and i'm just wondering like if anyone else has like heard of, heard like of these things um like these harmful ingredients buy organic tampons if you have painful periods because fuck me i feel so much better i don't know if i don't know if that's just my brain though or I actually feel better, I don't actually know. But I'll keep you updated, because I don't think I'm gonna switch. Oh my fucking God. I need to blend that out. I'll keep you updated though, um, because I don't think I'm gonna transition back to the normal ones. I think I will keep buying organic. So let me know your experiences. But that looks very, in the mirror it looks like really nice and like blended out, but in this light it looks really, really extreme. So just trust me on this. But yeah, I'm just going to put a little bit... I, this is my light makeup. I do concealer, bronzer. Then I'm just going to do a little bit of highlighter. And I put some powder on and a little bit of mascara. Just so I don't look dead. Because I feel like in seminars when like we're like talking to each other like face to face. Like I don't want to look... Like I want to look presentable if that makes sense. Like in lectures I don't care. But I feel like in seminars I just make a little bit of effort when I'm in the mood. And I haven't put makeup on all week so... Choo, 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 choo. Right, that will do. And then just a little bit of highlight. Sometimes I feel like my face looks better without foundation on. This lip is a honeymoon lip liner. I'm going to smudge that in. Sometimes I prefer my face. It just feels lighter, do you know what I mean? But I think I'm going to now... I need to put some dry shampoo in my hair because it's greasy. And I've got about... I'm not going to leave early because... The class before us always fucking runs late. So I'm always just waiting outside like a lemon for like 10 minutes. So I'm just going to get there a little bit later. Um, Do you need to shampoo? I think I've got some. Just because my hair's looking a little bit greasy. I think it's hair wash day. Doing stuff Friday, Saturday, Sunday night. So I feel like if I slick it back Friday, I can wash it like Saturday morning for them for it to be fresh. Whatever. Oh, right. I use this shampoo, the Mau Man one. It's so good. Just for a little bit spritz. I also have an overdue library book. Which I need to take back really. I just can't be bothered because like the library's so far from like my seminar rooms. Unless I'm late to one. Yeah, fuck it, I'll be late to one. Right, just spray that. Maddie's listening to Sam Fender because we're going to see him on Sunday and I'm so excited. So excited, Sam Fender. I saw him at the Brits, but he only performed like one song. And like, I knew the lyrics, but I didn't know all the lyrics. It was a bit like, ah, oh, like, do you know what I mean? But now I know the lyrics. So I'm going to be Sam Fender's biggest fan. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit of this on. Kind of done a lip oil. Right, what do I wear? I'm feeling a bit bloaty, so I don't really want to put yoga pants on. Just got something on. 
Um, and it's like sunny, so I want to wear something quite nice. I think I'll bring a sh couple of shades. I don't know. I need some inspo. Like. Oh. I need some inspo. You know what, Adenola, I've literally got piles of clothes like all around my room. Adenola sent me this blue set. Let me see if I can find it. Look at my wardrobe. Adenola sent me this blue uh, set. So I might then wear that with like this jumper. Cause that's got a bit of blue in it. Where is it? Oh. Oh, it might be in my, oh there it is. Look, it's like super cute. Like, look at these leggings. I don't know they're my favourite for athleisure and I always size up just so they're like extra comfy. I think I'll wear this, you know, because it's blue skies, like a bit of blue. I'll wear these. And that's really, really comfy. Does this look cute? I look really coordinated. I think that looks cute. Bucket. Um, right, I need to put some deodorant on. Speaking of the organic tampons, these are the ones I picked up from Amazon. I'm sure you can get any brand, but I kind of like these. Brush up my hair. I think I'll just bring a scrunchie just to chuck it up in the seminars because having my hair down like I can't focus when I have my hair down when I'm like working it's really weird it's been like a massive thing for me like during A levels oh where's my white during A levels and stuff like my hair had to be up and like out my face because I'd get really like agitated if like my hair was down and I was writing I don't know I don't know if you relate to that, but I'm going to put this one on, this perfume, this is by End of the Stories, I think it's Sardonic Fire, Sardonic, I don't know, oh I love this shit, this is the LA scent, I first bought this in LA and it's fucking insane, and it just smells like LA, it gives me all the good summer vibes, so that's why we love it, this jumper is really cute, I think I'm ready. I don't know. I haven't got a top on underneath this. I think I'll be fine. Uh, let me just grab my white scrunchie that I probably stole off my day. I've seen it knocking around. You know when you see something in your room and like you know it's in your room but like now and then when you try and find it like you can't remember. Maybe it's in here. Ah, there it is. This is the final look. I just put on this jacket because it is still Manchester and still freezing. So fucking sunny. See ya. We're buying. It is just funny. I'm not that stupid. It's logical. <laughs> okay, I'm back now. I just had to nip to the library to take back a book because basically I bought out this book in like I didn't bring it out, I didn't write it, no. I like took it out of the library last Thursday, so I've had it a week. I needed it for my essay due in, so I used it. And then I got like an email on Monday, or I think it was Tuesday. Monday or Tuesday, I think it was Tuesday. And said like, this book that I'd just taken out was overdue. Like it was due for renewal or like return that day. So I was like, oh, like, fucking hell. I was like, oh, but I'm not going into uni. And like going to the library was ball late. So I was like, oh, I'm just gonna put it off. Um, so I've just been putting it off until today. I was like, oh, I really should return that because I'm gonna be like, I'm home this weekend. So once you return it, like as I was walking to the library, I was looking at the email again and it said it's like a 50p charge for high demand books, which is what my book was. Um, 50p charge per hour 
like the moment it's due for the moment it's overdue so obviously i've had this book let me see when this email was sent i've literally had this book let me have a look because i didn't fucking realize they really take books seriously um overdue books come on here we go yeah 14th of march so 14th of march 15th 16th it's 17th today so that's four days so 24 times that's how many hours times four so that's 96 hours that i've had this book overdue times that by 0 0.5 yeah so i owe the library 48 quid what the fuck and like when i went to the library this book there was at least five of them all on the shelf they were all there i'm like you don't need this book back urgently like fucking hell so yeah i took that back and then i'm 50 quid down so we love that but i'm gonna make some lunch now maddie's already gone to leeds i've just seen her she's been and gone and left um now i'm gonna make some lunch i don't really know what we've got in the fridge but because i'm going home like i want to eat some of the fresh food do you know what i mean i've got burrata blueberries oh i've got that salmon yeah, that's it really and potatoes and some salad so maybe i could make like a Greek salad and have like a bit of pizza toast because I think let me have a look in here. Ow. Oh I think yeah, here we go. Yesterday or like a couple of days ago I went to co-op. Um and instead of buying a loaf of bread, because when we buy a loaf of bread, like we don't eat that much bread to eat a whole loaf of bread in a week. Does that make sense? So I just buy like individual rolls. So I buy like three a week for me and Mads and usually one of us end up having one and then one of us end up having the other one just like whenever we fancy and that's like way better than just buying like a whole loaf of bread because we don't fucking eat it and there's so much bread. Okay, I do, I want to get this train at 2.38. That means I need to leave the house at about quarter past. So I've got 20, 35 minutes. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly make some pizza toast um because i really fancy that right, i'm in a little bit of a rush if no one's seen this um if no one's seen this i'm making pizza toast that hayley bieber bought on her tiktok ages ago let me see can you see this um, but I'm in a bit of a rush, so you're supposed to toast the bread like in a pan uh, with olive oil, but I'm kind of rushing, so I don't know if to just... I think I'm just going to put it in the toaster. So I put the bread in the toaster, and then I'm going to chop up... Where is it gone? Oh my god, where the fuck is it gone? Oh. I'm going to chop up one tomato. Wash that. Really thinly. Come on, you've bound to this recipe, but me and Mads were like obsessed with it last week. Um, and I've been making it, when I, well, I've been making it like most lunch times, which is whatever, I'm crazy. But I saw something, um, I saw something on TikTok and it said that you should put a layer of pesto on the bottom. So I might do that on one of the slices because I feel like that would be super nice. And then I'm just going to put some salt and olive oil on the tomatoes just to give them a bit more flavour. I think I will make this train. I've just got one of these out because I put the pizza toast in there to put in the oven. I think I will make this train because like, I've already sort of packed. I don't need to pack loads though because... Every time I go home, like, I don't end up wearing all these clothes that I bought because I've got a lot of clothes at home. Um, so I feel like I've learned that that's the key to, like, not overpack. So I just need, like, my makeup, some toiletries. Not even a lot of toiletries because mum will have a lot. Um, yeah. And then some outfits and just some, like, chill clothes. You know, like, if I'm going to grab a coffee with Liv, like, I just want, like, a... Like a nice jumper and stuff. But I'm just grating the cheese. Oh my god, that's scary. Oh, that's 
So I take my lightly toasted bread. Can you see that? Um, put some olive oil on it. Oh, I should put, oh yeah, let me, this will be the pesto one. Have I got any pesto? Yeah. Put a little bit of pesto on there. Mm -hmm. And then tomatoes. And then we take the burrata. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and put it on. I'm not like a massive fan of burrata, but I prefer mozzarella, but I swear there's like little difference. I don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to know that from Italian, but I literally don't know. one up but it'll be fine like it'll still taste the same and then i'm just gonna put this these in the oven for like literally a couple minutes just so like the cheese melts see you in a minute okay and then i just warmed up some um pasta sauce to like put on top and it looks so yummy you're supposed to add cheese on top but i just don't have time i literally have i literally have about eight minutes to eat this I'm kind of packed behind me. I was doing it as they were cooking. Um, so I'm all right. I don't know if I should wear white while eating this. That's not probably not the best idea. Um, but I'm going to risk it. This is the pesto one. I haven't had this one before. Pesto makes it so nice. Oh my god. Good morning everyone. So today we've already worked out. We went to a workout class and then we walked um, and got a protein shake afterwards. I'll insert some clips. It was probably the hardest workout class that it's been today. It was super hard. It was full body. But we got it done. We got it done. Um, I'm just packing my bag now for uni. I've got two lectures today and then a meeting with one of my seminar leaders because I've got an essay due and I just want to like run over my plan. So the first one is transnational Europe, which is like, I think we're doing interwar Europe. So like after World War One, just before World War Two, And then I've got my British module, which I love, I'm really loving. And I think today's about women in World War Two. So they like go quite nicely. They overlap quite nicely. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. And this is what I'm wearing. This is my uni fit for today. I was like, I don't have a coat. And then I looked at my wardrobe, I went, oh my God, I've got all these coats. Like, look how nice this coat is. I literally like forgot about this. This is like an old men's Zara shirling coat. I've just paired it with this Skims t-shirt because I love them, they fit so well. Um, leggings from ASOS, Ugg boots, and then just like a new era cap because my hair's a bit greasy. But I just thought, it's kind of a bit dark. But it's like a cool uni fit. Okay, what Nero? Here's okay, so some work, I got an Earl Grey tea, and I've had some lunch. Basically, we're at Nero, um, and the lineup prep was so long, so 
I got a sandwich because uh, pret sandwiches are better than Nero and then I've come here. Just doing some essay work. I had a, um, had a meeting with my seminar leader for this essay and she was really nice. She was super helpful. So I had that in here and it was very loud. But I mean, what can you do? I've got another lecture in about... I probably need to leave in about... Where is it? I probably need to leave in about 10 -ish minutes for my British um, lecture about women in World War II. So I'm excited to hear about that. I will walk back. I think I might walk back. It's so cold. It's a nice day, but it's freezing. It's so the sun, it's been so sunny here in Manchester, but it's been absolutely freezing. Um, so it's really deceitful. Like, I've got a big shirling coat on, do you know what I mean? And I'm still cold. But anyway. Do you want to them at that? Yeah, if you want. It'll be nice to get one the way back. Mm. But then, yeah. We're very excited for the cinema tonight. And we're making prawn tacos. I think I'll use Kylie Jenner's recipe. I have tried to make them before and they taste like shit. Already. Oh. 5,000 steps already said. I did try to make them before and they tasted like shit, but I feel like I didn't have all the ingredients, so we've made sure we've got everything. I just need to go and pick up some cilantro or what do we call it? Pass is it coriander in the UK? Cilantro. Coriander, yeah. Was it parsley? No, parsley is a um, not parsley. Is it? Is it parsley? Oh. <laughs> Don't know what parsley is, girl. So I don't know. So we're gonna make them and then we're going to cinema. It's got a lovely day. Uh, I just need to make sure I get my essay done because I'm not, I don't want to be last minute.com, do you know what I mean? We are last minute.com with these. We're very last minute.com. Yeah, what are you wearing today, outfit of the day? I go to the London store. Where's it from? What's it say? West Virginia. Nice. What about your leggings? Zara. No, Bershka. What about your swim shoe? Swim shoe? What shoes do you wear? Cute. We've got a full house. We love this fit. Comfy, cozy fits is what we want at uni. I haven't unpacked my suitcase. Yeah, right. <laughs> But we're gonna have a full clean of the apartment tonight slash tomorrow morning. Because I don't know how much we'll get done tonight. Right, I'm back. I'm at home. We're just putting Kardashians on. Um, I've been at home for a while. I was just relaxing. I'm so tired today and I don't know why. So, so tired. I think it was that workout session that really took it out of us. Anyway, we're making prawn tacos for dinner, which I'm so excited for. I've literally been craving these. It's because that picture of... Um, What's her name? The video of Kylie Jenner came off my few page when she makes uh, sh her shrimp tacos. And ever since then, I was like, oh, I'm just craving those flavors. I'm not a fan of tacos. Like, I will never, that's not my desired, like, meal choice. Like, I'm, like I don't really like burritos, and, like, all of that. Um, but I'm really craving these for some reason. And I love prawns, so I thought, why not? Anyway, I wrote up a recipe. I kind of watched loads of TikToks and then I've also like looked at Kylie Jenner's recipe um, and I've kind of like fused them together so I'm we're just gonna wing it um, and see if it tastes nice and see how we can adapt it. First thing I'm gonna do is cut these prawns or shrimp up. Let me let you see what I'm doing. Okay it's coming along we've got the prawns here we've put paprika Salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, olive oil. And then we've cut up an onion and some tomatoes. And I'm just heating up a pan now. And Maddie has made the guacamole. I don't know how you say it, but it looks really nice. And we've got our tortillas.
and it looks so nice. Now we're just going to cook this for about five to seven minutes, it says, um, until like the shrimp have gone nice and pink, and then we're going to eat. Okay, we've got the prawns, we've got the sour cream, we've got the guac. Maddie's made some rice. I am now just frying off the tortillas. I want cheese in mine, so I feel like I'll put some cheese in the middle of this. Um, this looks a bit old, but it's still in date. I'll just take the bottom one, there we go. I'm gonna put some cheese in it and melt that off. Is that even gonna melt? I'll just crank the heat up, but then I don't want it to burn. I, I don't know if that looks, that's very stupid, but whatever. Guys, so I've got cheese, guac, a bit of sour cream on my prawns. It looks so good. And Maddie's put some rice in hers. It looks so yummy. Onto my second one. This looks so good. Guys. Oh my god, it looks so red. In this fucking light, guys, we just realized it's Tuesday. That means we just did Taco Tuesday and we didn't my even realize. Really so proud of us. We didn't even we didn't even plan that. We're supposed to have these tomorrow, but I'm so glad we had them today. Uh, but yeah, I'm feeling very full. I feel like one and a half is my sweet spot with tacos. I am literally so full right now. We had two, but so I feel like one and a half is like the perfect amount. Because after the first one, you're like, yeah, I'm ready. I want another one. And then halfway through that, you're like, oh, oh, do you know what I mean? But anyway. We're just chilling. I'm gonna do some work. Then we've got about an hour till we're gonna go to the cinema and eat loads of sweets and um, popcorn. Buttons. No loads of sweets because you know health queens. Health queens. Just some popcorn. You know you gotta treat yourself. You gotta treat yourself. I'm really um got into cooking and I've been literally cooking every single night and I've been loving it. I've made tacos. What did I make last week? I'm gonna make a chicken curry, salmon bowls. What else have I been making? What have we had so far? What have we had? Roast dinner, mm. potato salmon, that's my mm. favorite. What else have we been having? Honestly, all we eat is salmon and potatoes. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, that's all I we eat. Mm. But I can't wait to try out new recipes. And obviously, I'll show you what I make when I make it. But I think tacos was a good one. It's not; hard, it's, it was a quite a simple recipe, wasn't it, was. it? I'm gonna do like I think I'm gonna start making guides on Instagram if you've seen them. Um, so I'll definitely put. I'm gonna do like a uni meals guide. So I'll definitely post this in the future when I've done my essay. But if you type in like Kylie Jenner taco recipe, I basically followed that but didn't make my own. I made some adjustments, but then I didn't use the hard shell, I used the soft shell, so. No, not the soft shell, the, the soft ones. Um, but yeah, very happy, very full, I need to fake tan. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's so cute. I look very pale, I haven't fake tanned in like two weeks. Maybe I should. <laughs> what did she say? The part she likes to do my story. <laughs> Go send it to my mum. But I think we've said we're gonna have a taco night every Tuesday. A taco. My I said taco. So and then we're gonna put, um, one day we're gonna put like a crispy taco in. So it's yeah. like a crunch wrap. I look really red right now, but I'm really excited to eat this. Yummy. I'm wrapped up warm. I'm gonna order the Uber. I did think like, I should probably do my essay tonight, but I mean, we already had this box and it's fine. I've got tomorrow. You gotta enjoy yourself. Um, every man. I haven't been in ages. It used to be like a tradition for us, didn't it? But then all the movies got shit. We don't want to see anything. Our favorite thing I probably saw there was, I don't know. We didn't. Re House of Gucci was a bit jumpy. It, no, it was. It what got bored towards the end. Yeah. What else have we watched? <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Seriously though, that's the thing. Oh, is there a, oh my fucking battery's flashing red. Oh, if it okay. dies, I'll be vlogging on my phone. Oh, thank you so much. Well, thank you. <laughs> Gimme. We're going in, we've got our snacks. Screen three, let's go bitches. Let's go. Cheers.